on Don or on Blitz and on Chewy, on Tavo. That's of course from Cheech and Chong's uh, Christmas Carol, Christmas Story, um, The Night Before Christmas, whatever it's called. <laughs> The night before Christmas. I always thought the Cheech and Chong one was very funny. Um, if you haven't heard it, look it up it's on YouTube or you can find it somewhere, but it's just really funny. It's Cheech and Chong Christmas. This is a Christmas themed shave. I've got on my Green Bay Packers Santa hat. The Packers suck this year, Minnesota. I hope you lose in the first round of the playoffs. That's That would be my Christmas. Well, I mean, playoffs won't be till January, but <laughs> So, I'm going to try not to be a Grinch today. It's a Christmas shave. What do we got going today? Uh, so, uh, you know, a couple months ago I've been mentioning, or in the past few videos I've been mentioning, I really am looking forward to picking up a new Christmas soap, and I did. Um, I saw that this release was coming out, and I jumped on it on Black Friday, actually. Noble Otter, Tis the Season. This is a new scent by Noble Otter. Beautiful tub that it comes in. Lots of cool artwork. It's even kind of like a foil or almost shimmering metallic look to it. You can see there's a Christmas um, otter. I don't know if the otter has a name, but Santa otter there and shimmering lights, candles, um, Christmas, Christmas tree, the whole shebang. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, beautiful scent on this soap. It... Um, Raspberry, apple, I can look at it real quick. Raspberry, apple, rosemary, fir, and oak moss, pine. And initially all I smelled was the fir and the pine, but then now after using it a few times, it's about a 50-50 mix of fruit and, and pine. Very much smells like a Christmas tree, and it smells like the fresh fruit that we often associate with uh, Christmas. Something that's kind of interesting, it is a red soap. Um, I've only got a couple of red soaps, or at least one other that I can think of. Colonel Conk Amber um, soap is kind of a reddish burgundy or maroon, something like that. But this is like kind of a pink or a red, I guess, um, since it does has, it lists raspberry as one of the first scents. Maybe that's why it's red. But yeah, that's the soap we'll be using. Uh, I also have the matching aftershave splash uh, that goes along with that. Uh, artwork also equally very cool. I've noticed with the, the aftershave, I get a bit more of the fruit versus the um, the tree smell. So that's kind of cool. Uh, continuing with the Christmas theme, the Rockwell 6S in red is the razor that I'll be using. Uh, got it right here. Um, but yeah, uh, to speed things along for this, this shave, I'm only going to use plate 5. I just shaved yesterday and uh, no need to... Um, switch out plates. I think just one one will do. Astra Green, that's the blade I'll be using um, with that. And uh, even though it's not in the wrapper, I've used it a couple of times, but it's Astra Green. So <laughs> that, that still continues with the Christmas uh, theme. The lather bowl that I'll be using for this shave is my green um, Razor Company 3D printed bowl. Uh, it's, I guess, the only green bowl that I have. I have a yellow, a blue, a couple of blues, a black, but it's the only green bowl that I have, so therefore it fits in with the Christmas theme. And then finally, I'll be using a green uh, DS Cosmetic synthetic brush. Um, so everything matches. Everything is either red or green. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas, you know that those are pretty much the two staple colors. Again, anyone that celebrates Hanukkah, silver and blue are the colors. Um, of Hanukkah, but uh, for Christmas, red and green dominate. So that's everything that I'll be using for the shave. Uh, let's go down to the lather right now. So I've pressed a little bit of the soap down in my bowl here. It kind of looks like gum on the bottom of a church pew. <laughs> uh, I found this is kind of the best method for me recently, doing like three little tiny like pea-sized scoops and then kind of spreading them out on the bottom of the bowl, splashing a little warm water on top of them to kind of activate the soap, and that works perfect. Do you like my little snow Christmas gnome there? He's a nice little addition there. We've, my wife <laughs> has a few uh, Christmas-themed hand towels. It's always fun to bust those out around the holiday season, and of course, most of you guys probably know um, 
certain towels really aren't for using. They're just for decoration. So hopefully she doesn't get too mad at me if she sees this video and sees that I sort of used it. Anyways, <laughs> so there we go. We got the Noble Otter uh, jar over there. We got my red Rockwell razor. This is all just a very Christmassy, Christmassy themed shave. I've had my brush soaking, soaking, soaking. I've had my brush soaking, I can't say it, soaking, soaking, in some water. Um, I just kind of wrung it out. There you go. So I'll start the lather. This bowl has the widest base of any bowl that I own. You can really just wham, you can really just move that soap around, move that brush around. Gonna add a little bit of water. What I'm actually gonna do, um, add a little water to this bowl. I use I use a little bowl when I shave. Kind of wet my fingertips. You can kind of see it right there, right there. Um, so I don't have to run the faucet every time. So I'm gonna dip my brush tip into that bowl to get a little bit more water. And do it one more time. I just found that's a little bit easier than trying to sprinkle or spray water down in my bowl. Just wet the tip. <laughs> okay, as you can see, that came together very nicely. I like it. Let's do it. Back up top. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that video lathering demo. Um, yeah, this soap comes together very nicely, uh, as do all Noble Otter soaps. I will say I've noticed um, when I use a natural hairbrush, like either Boar, Horse, or Badger, it doesn't do as well. It tends to kind of eat the lather. Um, so with Noble Otter soaps, I typically just kind of stick to synthetic. But I get amazing results with synthetic. You can see right here. Uh, I just washed my face so, with some soap, so my pre-shave was basically just washing my face. We'll put a little water on my face here. Okay, how's everybody doing? Good, good to, good to hear. I um, hope everyone's getting excited for the Christmas season. I know I am. Santa is bringing some very cool gifts to my little ones. He told me. We did a video chat recently, me and Santa, just to confirm that my girls have been good and not naughty this year. And <laughs> it's funny, we, we took the girls to see Santa, and when Santa asked our oldest daughter, who's four, if she's been naughty or nice, she kind of like paused and like looked at mom and I. <laughs> She wasn't exactly sure. She's she's a great kid. I love her so much. Sometimes she's four, you know. You know, four year olds can be. Speaking of video chats though, I was honored to be to do a video chat with Ben over at the Soap Thing Project. He is starting a podcast. And I was his guest on the show. Um we had a conversation about Soaps from your home state. And me being from Texas, I do live in Wisconsin now. I talked about all the soaps that I have from Texas, including Noble Otter, which is made in Houston, Texas. Um, so that was, that was a lot of fun. It's sad to say, I mentioned in the podcast, Central Texas Soaps is going out of business. Um... They, uh, Mr. Pepper is one of the soaps that I have from them. It smells like Dr. Pepper. It smells just like Dr. Pepper. But they posted on Facebook recently that they are closing up shop. And we kind of talked, we talked about that some, about these artisan soap companies that, that do go out of business. Um, but again, that one really hits home for me because, uh, I'm from Texas. Um. I'll try to use that maybe in my next video. It it honestly to me is almost a Christmassy scent. Kind of spicy, kind of sweet. 
It's like Dr. Pepper. Uh, okay, got my blade loaded up here in my Rockwell. So I'll put a link to that video as well as his uh, channel in the description here. What else is going on? And again, this is on, yep, it's on setting number five. Um, ooh, last night was fun. As many of y'all know, and I even mentioned it in Ben's podcast, um, I used to be a local TV meteorologist. My station asked me to come back and fill in during the holidays. So I made my return last night to the airwaves. I was a little nervous, but it's like riding a bike. And my wife took video of my girls seeing me on TV. And they were super excited. Which is also kind of funny, because it's not like they haven't seen me on TV. They've seen a few of my YouTube videos. Um, including, you know, I've mentioned before, I used to do uh, serial reviews. And, uh, and so they've seen me on TV. But not live TV, you know. Anyways. So that was fun. <laughs> Um, what else? We got walloped by snow. I live in Wisconsin, you know, it's, we expect it. We, you know, not like it came out of nowhere. Very heavy, wet snow, lots of branches down, even like limbs, big limbs in my yard. One almost hit the house, one almost hit my car. Uh, So that was fun. We did not lose power. A lot of people lost power. Crazy storm. All the limbs were down because temperatures were basically around freezing. And that gets you that heavy, sticky snow versus wet snow. You know, it could snowball and snowman, snowman making snow. Typically, here in Wisconsin, temperatures are like in the single digits when we get snow, and it makes for very fluffy, powdery snow. It's good for skiing. Um, but it basically clung to branches, and then those trees broke. So, yeah, we didn't lose power. Very fortunate we didn't lose power. Lots of people did. That's, that's all like the big things that have been happening in my world. Um, hope everyone else is doing good. I hope hope your NFL team is doing good since mine isn't. All I can do is hope for others. My dad's a big Colts fan and they blew a 33-point lead against Minnesota yesterday. That was interesting. My dad was super mad. He's always kind of grouchy, but he was extra grouchy after that loss. I don't blame him. That's bad. Um, Christmas is my favorite time of year. Enjoy getting into the Christmas spirit. Christmas movies. Christmas story is my favorite. I have not watched the new one on HBO that has much of the cast. I'm worried it'll ruin the original one for me. What do you guys think? Have y'all seen the remake? I don't think it would ruin it, but... It's like Caddyshack. Caddyshack is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I've heard that Caddyshack 2 is so bad, so I don't want to watch it for fear that it might ruin the first Caddyshack for me. I don't know. But... Eh, maybe I'll watch it. We'll see. <laughs> one of my favorites that my wife hates is Mr. Magoo Christmas Carol. Came out in like the 60s or 70s. The animation sucks. <laughs> the songs are pretty bad. But I just remember as I was a kid. My wife doesn't like it. My daughters enjoy it. 
Uh, Christmas Vacation, obviously one of my favorite. Elf. I was never big on the Santa Claus with um, uh, t Tim, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. What was his name? Uh, yeah, and then Vince Vaughn, I think, was in Fred Claus, like his brother. Vince Vaughn is also in Four Christmases, which is not very good in my opinion. Christmas with the Cranks, not one of my favorite movies. Charlie Brown Christmas is definitely one of my favorites. Um, this scent, like I said, it's it's extremely Christmassy. I've already used it eight or nine times. Um, just continuing to use it through the Christmas holiday. I don't know if you can see a little cut right there from a Shavette. I've been using my Shavette quite a bit and I've gotten really good with it, but I did nick myself the other day. Leach. Did y'all see that? Quarter, or not quarterback, coach for Mississippi State passed away. So I went to Texas Tech. He was quarter, or he was, I keep on saying quarterback. He was coach there. I actually interviewed him when I worked there. I worked in TV news. And uh, he was coach there. He did so much for the Texas Tech program, really put him on the map. Then he left and went to Washington State. And then Mississippi State, and I went to Mississippi State. It's where I got my atmospheric science degree. And then I just saw that he passed away. It was very sad. Um, I maybe didn't see eye to eye with him politically, but he was a great coach. And he, he was doing things that no one else had ever seen before. Very sad to see Mike Le Leach pass away. Um, he was more or less fired from Texas Tech. <laughs> And they kind of did him wrong. Like, I think there was like a bonus coming up and they let him go before that bonus. He didn't take the best care of himself. I heard he drank a lot and that might have been the reason they let him go. But he was an amazing football coach. Very sad to see the passing of Mike Leach. Let's try to end on a happier note, okay? It's Christmas. I hope you've got your homes decorated. I hope you've got loved ones nearby. I hope you've got delicious foods to eat. I hope that everyone has a great holiday season, yeah. Let's, let's switch gears a bit and talk about good things. We won't talk about the Packers. At least they're not as bad as the Bears. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all ever heard that song, The Bears Still Suck? I hope there's no Bears fans watching. It's a song that Packers fans love to sing. The Bears still suck. The Bears still suck. It's great. <laughs> Nothing beats good old football trash talking. Oh, you need to go put, go downstairs, kiddo. I want to go here. My daughter's back from the grocery store. Okay, we can pause it. You can come in here and use the potty. Pause. Okay, sorry about that. We were almost done, but my daughter came in and uh, needed to use the potty. Good thing we weren't talking about Santa, right? Okay. 
Um, aftershave, this is literally all that I had to do left. Like I said, the aftershave is a little bit more of a raspberry scent. Well, I don't know, now that I use it, it's about the same. It's like 50-50 raspberry and pine. A little bit of that apple scent. It's nice. Very Christmassy, indeed. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in to another wonderful shave video, a Christmas shave. Um, thanks to Ben over at the Soap Thing Project uh, for having me on your podcast. He mentioned that he'd love to have me on again sometime, and I would love to be on again sometime. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. I'll see you real soon.